اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیا سٹوڈنٹس یس ڈی وی ہیو ڈسکس دا میکنیزم آف نائٹروجن فکسیشن اینڈ وی ہیو سین دا فسٹ پروڈکٹ آف دا نائٹروجن فکسیشن از امونیا ناؤ ٹوڈے وی ول سی سی دا ایسیملیشن آر فیٹ آف امونیا دا امونیا پروڈیوسڈ بائی نائٹروجنس انزائم امیجیٹلی کمبائن از ود ہائیڈروجن پازیٹو آیانز دیٹ دیٹ از اٹ از پروٹونیٹڈ ٹو فارم امونیم آیانز دا امونیا وچ از دا پروڈکٹ آف نائٹروجن فکسیشن اٹ از پروٹونیٹڈ ایٹ فزیولوجیکل پی ایچ ٹو پروڈیوس امونیم آیان وائل موسٹ آف دا پلانٹس کین ایسیملیٹ نائٹریٹ ایز ویل ایز امونیم آیان بٹ the later that is ammonium ion is quite toxic to plants and hence cannot accumulate in them in this ammonium ion it is quite toxic to the plants and they cannot accumulate it therefore this ammonia is assimilated as soon as it is formed and it should be assimilated it is assimilated by the plants as soon as it is formed and it is done through many processes one of the process is catalytic amidation another process is reactive amination and one more process is that is trans amination let us now see how this ammonium ion it is used to synthesize amino acids in plants and we will see that is the fate of this ammonia is um, amino acids that is plants synthesize amino acids from this ammonia and there are as i have already there are possibly three ways three main pathways through which it is synthesized one is the reductive amination second is the trans amination and third one is catalytic amidation we will discuss here two that is reductive amination and trans amination let us take the first that is reductive amination in this process that is reductive amination ammonium ion reacts with an organic acid namely alpha keto glutaric acid in the presence of an enzyme dehydrogenase for example alpha uh, this uh, glutamate dehydrogenase and in the presence of an enzyme dehydrogenase the example here is glutamate dehydrogenase and forms glutamic acid this reaction also requires reduced coenzymes like any dph and any dh and we can say in reductive amination ammonium ion reacts with organic acid for example alpha keto glutaric acid this is alpha keto glutaric acid alpha keto glutaric acid it reacts with ammonium and also an a coenzyme na dph is required here in the presence of enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase it produces an amino acid that is glutamate it produces an amino acid that is glutamate glutamate or glutamic acid this is the first uh, this pathway through which amino acid is produced from the ammonia now in the second that is trans amination this trans amination it involves the transfer of an amino group from an amino acid to the keto group of a keto acid in the presence of enzyme amino transferase and in this trans amination it involves the transfer of amino group from one amino acid to the keto group of a keto acid in the presence of an um, enzyme amino transferase the later that is amino acid it is changed into an amino acid while the former that is the keto acid it is changed into an organic acid let us see the reaction glutamic acid which is an amino acid it reacts with oxaloacetic acid which is a keto acid in the presence of enzyme glutamate aspartate amino aspartate amino transferase to produce alpha keto glutaric acid which is an amino acid and aspartic acid which is an organic acid which is an organic in this way we have seen how by trans amination ammonium ion 
is transferred it is it gets transferred into an amino acid this takes place by the transamination now the two most important amides amides are the organic compounds derived from amino acids and these amides they have generally nitrogen they have they contain more nitrogen than the amino acids than the amino acids that is why they are transported to other parts of the plants via xylem vessels now the two important uh, most important amides as i have already what are amides amides are the compounds organic compounds derived from amino acids two most important amides are aspartame and glutamine found in plants are the structural are the structural parts of proteins they are from former from two amino acids namely aspartic acid and glutamic acid respectively by the addition of another amino group to each and if we add an amino group to each and they are get converted into two amino acids that is aspartic acid that is uh, uh, aspartame and aspartic acid and glutamic acid aspartic acid and glutamic acid the what happens here the hydroxyl part of the amino acid is replaced by another amino acid radical since amides contain more nitrogen than the amino acid they are transported to other parts of the plant via xylem vessels and in addition along with the transpiration streams the nodules of some plants for example soya bean export the fixed nitrogen as ureus these compounds also have a particularly high nitrogen to carbon ratio this is all about the fate of ammonia or assimilation of ammonia in plants thank you assalam alaikum